Hello, my name is Anya, and today we are going to allow the user to select a tag and without any connection between the tag selected and an arbitrary list of classes in the database, we are going to dynamically filter through and find the relevant classes using the Fuzzy Search and Autocomplete plugin. So here I have a data type called classes and a class has a name and as a text field and then also a description. In addition to that, I have an option set called tags. Here I just have things like music, bird watching, cooking, like broad categories. And here's my database where I have three different classes, but this could be any amount, but in order to illustrate this, I just have three. There are two that are more music related, guitar and piano, and then one about cooking. Here I just have a basic setup with a repeating group displaying all of the tags, and then a repeating group displaying all of the classes. I also added some functionality over here. So when one of these tags is clicked, the state of this repeating group tags is value tag is music. So I'm just displaying this tags names value in some alternate place and then accordingly changing the appearance of that one tag. So you can visually see that this is the one that's selected. If that part was a little confusing, I suggest you check out my Zero to One Bubble course, which goes more into depth about things like that, the more basics. But for now, I'm just gonna go straight into the more complicated part. So as I showed you, I have a custom state on this repeating group tags called tag, where I'm just storing the text value of the tag that's selected. Now I want to be able to take this text value and dynamically sort through all the classes based on that. Now one way to do this would just be to check all of these that have the word music in them. But that's not really what I want to do given that. This title is clearly related to music but doesn't have music in its name. So if I were just to use that one-to-one -one comparison, this wouldn't come up. Instead, we are going to use a plugin. So I'm gonna go down here to install more plugins. And I'm gonna search for a search and autocorrect plugin by Xerox. The fuzzy search and autocomplete. I'm going to install it and then we can find it on the side over here. I'm going to take this and drag this somewhere on my page. It's invisible. I can have this anywhere on the page, but I'm just going to add it here at the bottom. Now we have some fields to fill out. We want this to sort through all of our classes, so we're going to make the data type a class, and its data source is just going to be all of the classes in the database. We want it to compare the tag to both the name and also the description. That way it can look through both and try to see if there's something relating to music in there. Now we need to file the text to match. So actually what is it looking for? And this is just going to be the custom state tag that we had previously saved. And that's it. Now all we need to do is display all of the classes that this one has filtered out. I'm going to go down here to my repeating group class. Right now its data source is just a search for all of the classes in the database. But I want to change that only when a tag is selected. So I'm going to say when repeating group tags tag is not empty. When there is a tag selected, this data source should actually be the search and autocorrects matches, which is going to end up being a list of classes. Let's run this. Right off the bat, 
we can see that this repeating groups data source is just a list of all of the classes in the database. However, when we select music and we save it in our custom state, we see the data source change and we can see piano and guitar both appear. This is because this condition, the repeating group tags tag is not empty, is now true. So it makes the data source our search and autocorrect plugins matches, which amounts to being a list of two classes in which music is somewhere referenced. We can do this for any of these. Like I had before, I have three in the database right now, and one of them is cooking related. So when we select cooking, we can see something come up. But we don't. This actually has to do with how we've configured this search and autocorrect plugin. Right now it's looking through the name and the description and it's threshold for how relevant does this tag need to be. It's currently at 0 0.6. We want to play with this a little more, maybe change it to 0 0.75, 0 0.7 and see how that affects it. So there's some amount of tweaking that needs to be done. Now, when we click cooking with the higher threshold, this vegan meals comes up. Right now, this is cooking, and we can see we have cook used here, and that's why with a lower threshold, we are able to return this result. Now, bird watching, we currently have nothing relating to that. So when we click this, we want no results, which is working properly even with the higher threshold. So both threshold and distance and location affect this, and I encourage you to play around with that a little more so you get your desired results, but the overall idea is the same. And I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.